Fox News did a segment about a new FDA rule, and they're going to totally misrepresent it and make themselves look like jackasses. Ready to say goodbye to your favorite sprinkled donuts like these. The senator and I already ate one this morning. They're delicious. We feel fantastic. But that is because the FDA has anything to do with it. They're getting rid of donuts like these. The agency now regulating America's intake of trans fats for, as su uh, for at such high levels, the amount needed to make something as small as a sprinkle on your donut may be banned. But doesn't the FDA have more important things to do than regulate sprinkles? <laughs> Let's ask the author of The Food Police, economist Jason Lutz. Nice to see you this morning, Jason. Hi, Clayton. Thanks for having me on. Now, let me play devil's advocate for a moment, because what critics are saying is, look, yeah, the FDA should step in and do this, because, look, that's the government's responsibility to protect citizens against toxic chemicals, and that's what trans fats are. What do you say? Well, actually, the FDA already has done something. When the evidence began to emerge that trans fats were pretty unhealthy and, and risky, the FDA required labeling, required food companies to add a label uh, with the amount of trans fats. And what we've seen is, as a consequence of that label is that food companies have already voluntarily cut back on the amount of trans fats, in part due to consumer pressures. And if you look at the data, consumption of trans fats has fallen pretty dramatically as a response to those labels. So it's, it's a little unclear now why they're coming in and adding this ban on top of a policy that was already effective. It, what you know? What, what I was also saying to people is, look, you're just not responsible, right? You, 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 if you think you can't eat one of these every day, and you know that you're going to have some other kind of health issues, if you're eating donuts, that's p your main part of your diet. You're probably uh, going to have some issues. What the government is saying is, look, you're not responsible for your own health, so we're going to make sure we're going to step in and be responsible for you. Is that what they're saying? Well, you know, there's there's a tendency to look at this kind of policy and say, hey, what's the big deal? You know, a ban on on sprinkles on donuts. It's just just not that big a deal. But I think the way you want to look at that is to say that, you know, if the government can involve itself in such small minutia decisions of our daily lives as to whether we want to eat sprinkles or not, you know, that's really not much respect for the citizens' choices. And if they're willing to ban those small decisions. You know, what kind of respect will they give citizens in the larger decisions in lives uh, in our lives about where to work or where to live or some of the things that really matter to us? Really? The government is going to change where you live and change where you work and tell you where you can and can't live and where you can and can't work? Straw man much? And also... That's made up. You know what else is made up? There's not a fucking ban on sprinkles. Please. God, they're so ridiculous in how they interpret things and how they twist it and lie about it. Of course the government didn't ban sprinkles. And there's a bunch of dumbasses watching this segment who are going to go, Well, big bad federal government came and banned my sprinkles. And then they're going to go to the store in two weeks and find a whole fucking aisle full of sprinkles. And they're still going to be stupid enough to think... The government bans sprinkles even though they're looking at the sprinkles. No. It, here's the truth. Quote, It's true that the FDA took steps in 2013 to phase out the sale of artificial trans fats. Manufacturers like popcorn maker Redenbacher have responded by reformulating their foods to remove trace amounts of trans fats. In fact, one corporation has already removed trans fats from its line of sprinkles by using a non-hydrogenated palm oil. Okay, boom, that's it. That's it. Everything where there used to be trans fats, they can now replace it with non-hydrogenated palm oil and your problem solved. And you could still make your sprinkles, you can still make other baked goods. And furthermore, they say, quote, the Center for Disease Control estimates that moving forward with a complete ban could prevent as many as 7,000 deaths and 20,000 coronary events each year. Look, if they were banning sprinkled donuts, and they go on in that clip to say, government's gonna ban cookies and cakes, too. If they really were banning cookies, if they really were banning cakes, if they really were banning donuts, I would be the first one outraged, and I would be the first one out there to say, this is bullshit, don't do it. But they're not doing it. You made it up. They're simply saying, hey, certain ingredients, there's... 
absolutely positively no benefit to this whatsoever and it's killing people so you're not allowed to use that particular ingre ingredient it's the same thing by the way as saying let's say there was some sort of a product that uh, had um, that in the process of cooking it you create trace amounts of formaldehyde or you create trace amounts of nicotine or something like that and it's in a food product Pe people would rightfully say okay no you have to change the way you make that product you can't make it like that because the formaldehyde you're creating or the uh, whatever uh, negative chemical you're creating, trace amounts of nicotine or what have you, and these are just made up examples for the record, but if that were to happen, people would say, yeah, you have to change the way you make that product because the way you're making it is making people sick and killing people, and that's not okay. Understand, man, this show is uh, one of the biggest shows out there that's against the idea of a ban. I'm in favor of you doing whatever the fuck you want to do with your body, right? I'm in favor of... You know, you want to drink a quart of gin a day and die at the age of 43, that's your fucking right, man. On on issues like this, I'm as libertarian as you could possibly get. But that doesn't mean that you oppose common sense regulation. Like for cigarettes, for example, I would never say ban cigarettes ever. But what I would say is, uh, if there was some sort of regulation that came along which said, eh, 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 you're using 900 different chemicals, and those 900 different chemicals are giving people the cancer, giving people heart disease, giving people uh, lung issues and emphysema, and it, the delivery method of the nicotine is the thing that's really killing them, not the nicotine itself. So now we have a regulation which says the delivery system d is not allowed to have uh, this kind of tar and this kind of chemical. In that case, I go, right, yes, it makes sense to regulate there and say don't allow those certain chemicals. So you don't ban the product, but you regulate it to make it safer. I'm not saying you can't have a car, but the idea of a seatbelt is not an affront to liberty, man. That's essentially what they're saying. Fox News is twisting it, and they're saying, if, if the government says you should wear your seatbelt, that's the same as the government banning trucks. That's the argument they're making. They're saying you can't have a particular ingredient in the sprinkles, therefore they're banning the donuts with the sprinkles on them, and the cakes, and the cookies, and all the baked goods in the world. No, 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 they're not. You made that up, you are strawmanning their argument, and then you're arguing against the strawman. Why not argue against the actual issue, against the actual position that your opponents have? You can't do that because you know that they're right.